Hi guys, my name is Liam, one of the trainers at Corner. This is Paulina. Hi guys. We're going to be demoing for you today some ways to successfully counter punch off the back of some hand defenses. So, as always, the most important punch in boxing is your lead hand, your straight left jab. We're going to be starting by showing you how to defend and counter punch the lead hand. So, what I'm going to do from a boxing stance, I'm going to Begin by throwing my straight left jab upon and she's going to use a backhand parry to defend it. She's knocked my hand down and it's bought her a couple of milliseconds to return a counter punch. So this time, when Pauline has defended the shot, she's going to return her own jab. So that's the quickest shot to return in this situation. So again, I'll land the jab and then Pauline's jab comes out automatically. Good. So once you've trained it enough, you will find that as soon as you've got that block, the counter will come out without thinking about it. That's the essence of boxing. You want to be able to throw your counter punches without taking a second thought about landing that shot. So again, I'm just going to demo five more. And pick that speed up a little bit. Good. Nice. So Pauline well, buys herself a millisecond. She lands that jab straight away. Okay. Alongside that then, if I was to throw the jab to the body, I'm going to go low, I'm going to bend the knees a little bit, I'm going to sit into the shot, I'm going to try and keep my face defended as I do, and I'm fully extending that jab. This time Pauline is using the lead hand to parry the jab, and again, it drags that shot across my body, so for this millisecond, I can't throw anything back because I'm in my own way. So Pauline has now bought herself a second to land the right cross she pulls that shot over and notice that she chops the shot down because i've gone low my temple is exposed i can use this hand if i'm really crafty i'll use this hand to defend myself as i do so i'm, I'm not in as much danger that's the best way to do that with a, with a job to the body so again i'm going to put this pad here now to simulate my head so paulina can let a little bit of power go yeah but not knock me out so I'm sitting for the jab to the body. Good. Nice, nice and crisp. Again, the shot's become automatic now. As soon as Paulina feels that she's parried that shot, the counter punch is going to come back straight away. Good. That's starting to hurt a little bit now because she's very heavy handed. So, so that's another way of, of counter punching for the jab to the body. So we've got the counter for the jab to the head with the straight jab, and the counter for the jab to the body with the cross. And now we're I'm also gonna throw a right cross to the body. So this time I'm gonna bend the knees, I'm gonna sit into the shot and rotate. This time, Pauline uses the backhand again. Notice how she pulls my arm across my body. So again, buying her time to land the counter punch. So I'm out here, yeah, dying, dying to let it go. So we're gonna do it. Again, we're going to do three nice and easy. I'm just going to sit into it and reaching forward. She dragged that shot across. And actually, if it's timed really well at the wrist, it will drag me off balance. So while I'm off balance for this split second, I need to correct myself really before I do anything to throw a shot back. So Pauline has got many milliseconds to let her own shot go. And again, once you've trained it enough, it happens automatically. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so enjoy taking it out, taking the frustrations out of my, my head. Um, okay, so there's some of the straight shot defences and the counter punches that you would use. Um, alongside that, I've got some other power punches I now want to let go on Paulina. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and land them. And Paulina's obviously going to have the answer. As all, all women have the answer and another wrong. So from my boxing stance, this time I'm going to start with a lead hook, a left hook. I'm going to create a little bit of room. I'm going to whip that hook in. Paulina is now blocking it nice and tight with that guard. If I'm ironing close enough, I've exposed now for a split second. Paulina can return a left hook. It's actually something that you can do really quickly. As soon as you block the hook, you return your own hook. So we're going to have a little demo of what that looks like now. So the hook gets blocked and it gets returned instantly. Good.
blood. So this would be me coming in range, throwing my hook as soon as Paulina feels that on that nice tight guard, she returns her own hook. Okay, on the opposite side, if I were to throw a big overhand right or right hook, that's like quite a dangerous shot to throw because you, you really expose yourself and it takes quite a long time to get there. What I'm going to do, so that would look like this, so that you don't need to react to this one. I'm just going to show what it looks like. Just put your hand up and block that. This would be the shot where Paulina uses this lead hand, this shield, to block the shot. What I'm going to do to simulate that, using the pads, is I'm going to use a little backhand. It's not a punch that you're throwing boxing at all, but as a pad person, it's effective in demoing that shot. So Pauline is now, she's blocked it using that shield, and she's going to come straight back down the middle with a right cross again as soon as she feels that block and counter. Good. Nice. Nice crisp blocking and crisp countering happening straight away, really sharp. Um, so again, an, an, another defence there and another counter using that lead hand as a shield and blocking and coming back the right cross. Okay, so also there are body shots. I've got a big left up to the body. So I'm going to try and put that in on Paulina now. I'm going to create a little bit of room, bring the weight over on the front foot. I'm trying to touch that body. Paulina's keeping her hands nice and tight. And she's defending that body now. Best shot for me here is to come back with a backhand uppercut. So from the same side, actually, that you block with, because what you'll find is that you're really open as you shift all the way over on that front foot. You're coming close. You can come back with an uppercut. Actually, either side works well. So you can block with the back hand and return the lead uppercut. Or you can even use the same hand while you're in close here. Because it's, it's so close to your head. Why not? So you catch it on the elbow. And then return it instantly. Lovely. See how fast that happens? As soon as Pauline has felt that shot's been blocked. Even do it when she's not looking. And she's letting it go automatically. So if you see my head's exposed there to take my... Yeah, exactly. So on the opposite side, if I come with the right hook, again, I'm going to bend the knees. I'm going to sit into it and whip it around. Pauline's got the opportunity then to come back with a shot on the same side. Because this is... My head's so close here now. It's, it's a very easy shot to land. But also, as you do block the shot, you you loading up for power. You've created some tension through this side of the body. So this is like a coiled spring now, so it's ready to be opened up. So again, lovely. So it's happening automatically now, as soon as she feels that block, she lets the count go. We're just going to do two more of those. Good. Okay, so as I talked earlier in the video about blocking and blocking body shots, a way I would like to set up a left up to the body is to throw a right hook to the body first. So what that means is I'll sit into it. I'm going to throw in this right hook to the body really to create some tension through the left side of the body so I can pull through and land a big left hook to the body, which is actually a much more dangerous body punch. So what Paulina's going to do this time, she's going to block both of the shots. So I'll sit into it. I'm going to do it nice and slow. Paulina catches the right, catches the left. And again, she's bought herself a millisecond to land any sort of counter punch, but what I would like to do in this one is so we go block, block, and come back with the right, left, right. So the idea is that you've blocked that shot, you've lifted the head with the uppercut, and then you chased it in with two more power punches, a left hook and a right cross to the head, yeah? So we'll go through that. So nice and controlled, we'll pop, 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 nice and fast. And again, it's three punches in fast sequence. So we pop, 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 lovely. And again, pop, pop. Ha, 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 good. Let's just get that little side bend on the go now. So, bend, bend, ha, 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 good. And then you'll get a little bit more power into your shots. Again, you're creating that little bit of tension from either side of the body. So, we'll block, block, ha, 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 good. And again, block, block, ha, 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 good. Ha, 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 Let's go with speed now. Ha, 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 go again. Ha, 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 ha. One more. Ha, 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 ha. Lovely, relax there. So this is, it's an idea of some counter punch that you can use 
Some work better than others, some are more effective than others, but ultimately as a boxer you'll find what works best for you and your body type as you go on through understanding boxing, you're beginning to learn sort of the various defences, the various punches, the various different bits of footwork that suit you and your style. Thanks for watching.